welcome to our 60 minute total body strength and core workout. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today you need a pair of dumbbells, a single heavy dumbbell, and an optional stepper. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell for all the notifications. Let's get started with lateral squat jumps. So we're going side to side, side to side. So what I love about this workout is it's mainly strength training, but it gets your heart rate up just as much as doing a cardio intensive workout. In 10 seconds, we go to toe taps. Toe taps. Always warm up with either some cardio, some dynamic stretching, before just doing static stretching. When you do static stretching, so just you know, standing in place, stretching your hamstring, you put yourself at risk for injury because the muscles aren't warmed up. Five seconds. And butt kicks. Now we're getting those quads warmed up. And as I said in the intro, if you have a stepper, great. If not, I'll show you what to do without it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. So bring your legs out. Make sure that your knees are not rotating in. Whew. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Lateral squat jumps. So feet are a little bit beyond hip distance apart. There we go. Fifteen seconds. We go to toe taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Toe taps. Fifteen seconds. We have butt kicks. Butt kicks. Twenty seconds, we go to jumping jacks. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, jumping jacks. One more set here, and then we'll start lifting some weights. Ten seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Lateral squat jumps. Here we go. Last round of the warm up. Fifteen seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Toe taps. Fifteen 
Eight seconds. Butt kicks. Ten seconds. We're going to jumping jacks in five, four, three, two, one. So this is the end of the warm up. We'll get some water. Then we're grabbing a single dumbbell for stationary lunges with a military press up. Whew. And a squat with a single dumbbell press up. 15 seconds. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. That's the warm up. Get some water, towel off if you need it. So for this first circuit, I'm grabbing a single dumbbell. I have my right leg back, my left leg forward, stationary lunge, we're doing 10 Stationary lunges with a military press up on each side. Two, three, so we're counting. And if you don't wanna count, or you feel like you can't keep up with the 10, do eight. Do as many as you can do. This isn't a competition with me. It's just doing the best for yourself. And I'm switching to the other side. 10 on the left making sure that your right leg is slightly outwardly positioned. Whew. We're not in a tight rope. That's five. And 10. Squat with the press up. We're gonna take the dumbbell from our chest, squatting down, pressing up. Whew. 10 total. Then we start again. Whew. Whew. Almost dropped it. Hold on tight. And 10. Okay, we're going to 12 per side now, 12. We have three total sets. Whew. 12, 10, eight, six, four, and one. 12 on the other side. Here we go. Okay, this time I'm halfway through. And done. 12 squats with a press up. I'm gonna hang on because this is a slippery little sucker. Whew. Name that movie. It's probably before your time. I'll give you to the end of this rep count. Slippery little sucker. It has to do with a muscle. And time. All right, the answer is ding, ding, ding. Do you know it? Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. Okay, you guessed it, last set. 14 reps all. Then get some water, towel off. Seven.
and done. Ooh, 40 down the other side. Here we go. Seven. Woo. And done. 14 squats with a press up. Then get some water, towel off. Let's go. Halfway. I have a couple more. And time. Great job. We are done with circuit one. Towel off. Whew. We're going to get ready for curtsy squats and man makers. We'll need a set of dumbbells now. So we're going to pick up our dumbbells. Suitcase hold. Whew. So holding both dumbbells at your side. 30 seconds on the clock. We squat behind, squat in the middle. That's right, squat behind again. That's it, squat in the middle, squat behind, squat in the middle, Whew. squat behind. Alternating between the curtsy squats and the squat in the middle. And time. Now we're gonna count three man makers. So we're gonna row right, row left, push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Two more. Row right, row left, push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. One more, right, left, push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Okay, starting from the beginning, two more sets. 30 seconds, curtsy behind, squat in the middle, curtsy behind. Now, on the second set, we'll complete four man makers. Get low, get as low as you can in that squat. Low as you can in that curtsy. And time. We now get down for four man makers. Row, row, push up. Feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Nice job. Three more. Two more. And one more. Okay, final set here. Curtsy squats with that squat in the middle. Five man makers up next. And let's go. Five man makers. Row, row, push up. Jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. Four more.
Three more. Two more. And one more. Okay, Whew. done with this circuit. Get some water, towel off, wipe off the sweat. It's time to use the elevated platform if you have it. If you don't, no worries. The modified version or alternative is going to be just a forward lunge. So you'll do a right leg forward lunge and then when I switch, you'll switch to your left leg. But if you have an elevated platform, I want your right leg stepping out, your left foot elevated, and we're going to descend. Whew. Here we go. Down and up. Get as low as you can. Looking straight ahead. We'll switch legs in five, four, three, two, and one. Switching legs. So now my left leg is forward, my right foot is elevated, or you're just doing a forward lunge. Switching legs. Get as low as you can. Looking straight ahead. And time. So I'm gonna put the dumbbells off to the side. If you have the elevated platform, you're gonna elevate your hands on here for a tricep dip. If not, do it on the floor. Fingertips facing you, Whew. down and up. Letting those hips descend Whew. as low as possible. Maybe get your hips a little bit closer to the steppers if you have them. Three, two, and one. Exercise three, final exercise. You can start this without dumbbells, making sure that you can do this. We're gonna swing up, squat down. So we swing the dumbbells up, squat down. Swing, squat down. Once you feel comfortable, either with lighter dumbbells or no dumbbells, you can pick up heavier ones. And time, we start again. But this time, we're gonna do a rep count. So we have 10 Gorsha split squats on the right, 10 on the left. So I'm gonna have my right foot out, my left foot extended or elevated, or you're doing just that forward lunge, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Down and up, descend as far as you can, keeping your torso upright. And time, I'm switching my lead leg or I'm doing just a forward lunge. 10 with my left leg on the ground, my right leg extended. After this, 10 tricep dips. Okay, I'm putting my dumbbells off to the side. 10 tricep dips. Keeping my hands, my fingertips facing my toes, 10 total. I'm at eight, nine, 10. Now 10 swings into a squat. 
taking those dumbbells, looking straight ahead, swing up, squat down. And 10. Nice job. One more time, but this time we increase it to 12 reps. Whew. So left leg elevated, right leg firmly planted on the ground, 12 total. A little unsteady. Looking straight ahead, pick a focal point. 12 total. And 12, switching your lead leg, or just forward lunges. Whew. Six, halfway. And 12. Whew. Okay. 12 tricep dips and then 12 swings and then we move on. Six. And 12, 12 swings. Whew. 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. Nice job. Get some water, towel off. Okay, so we have two options in circuit four. You can use a stepper or no stepper. Get some water. So we're gonna do a side squat to a knee lift. If you don't have a stepper, you're just gonna squat out to the right, knee lift. Squat down, knee lift. But if you have a stepper, here we go. Okay. Take a single dumbbell, hold it, goblet position. 10 squats on the right with a knee lift. Squat and up. Squat and up. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Whew. On the left. Ten. Eight. Really squat down. Six. Four. Two, one. Oh, next exercise, final exercise in the circuit, Arnold press up. So standing up, hips tucked under, palms facing you, rotate out, press up. We're doing 10. Bring them back in. I'll do it from the side. Two, three, 10 total, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay, two more sets, but this time we're going down in reps. So we're going to do eight per side now. 
Squat down. Knee up. One, two, three, four, six, and eight. Switching to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight Arnold press ups. So pick up that second dumbbell. We'll do it from the side. Rotate out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Final set. Six per side, six Arnold press ups. And then we're moving on. Six. Four, get low, two, done. Okay, six on the left. And done. Okay, whew. Arnold press ups last time, then get some water and move the steppers out of the way if you have them. Six. Four. Two. And one. Nice job. So let's put the dumbbells to the side, move the steppers out of the way, wipe the sweat off, and most importantly, hydrate. We're moving on to circuit five. We have bent knee deadlifts. Whew. So we're gonna take our dumbbells, bring them out as if whew, we're carrying a dead body. That's why they call them deadlifts, dead weight. We're letting our arms just kind of fall to mid shin and then we elevate up. But at the same time, we're gonna bend our knees and push our hips back. So we push our hips back, bend the knees, and then in the end position, your shoulders should not be lower than your hips. They should either be a little bit higher or you can form a straight line between the two. So 30 seconds, bent knee deadlifts. Let's go. Almost there, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're now going into a sit up position and we're either gonna use two dumbbells to press up or a single dumbbell. You can decide. So our knees are gonna be up, feet firmly planted on the floor. We're gonna be in supine position. I'm gonna move my mic over slightly and sit up, bring those dumbbells to the sky, or you can use a single dumbbell and press it up. Again, you decide based on what weights you have, how this feels on your back. 30 seconds, timer already started, all the way into seated position. We're almost there, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna turn over into plank position. We have 12 push-ups with a renegade row. So we're gonna row, push up, that's one. Row, push up, that's two. So I'm gonna renegade row, right, push up, that's one. Left, push up, that's two, give me 12. Three, six, nine, and 
and whew, 12. Okay, we start again. Second set, bent knees deadlifts. So we let the dumbbells fall, shoulders and hips stop at the same level, we elevate up. You should feel this in your hamstrings, your glutes. If you feel it in your lower back, either lower the weight, use no weight, don't go so low, but do not continue if you feel a pull or a strain in your lower back. And up, squeeze the glutes. 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna go to those sit-ups with a press-up in five, four, three, two, and one. Sit-ups with a press-up. Let's go. Whew. This is timed, no need to count. In five, four, three, two, and one. We turn over, push-ups with a renegade row, 10 this time. So every row and push-up counts as one rep. Row, push-up, that's one. Going for 10, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Okay, guess what? It's our final set. Bent knee deadlifts. Whew. Coming to the end of circuit five. Letting those hips fall, elevate up. You've got it. And up. Squeezing the glutes, thinking about the hamstrings as you elevate up. Ten seconds, and then we go to those sit-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Sit-ups with the press-up. All the way to full seated position. And time, we now turn over eight renegade rows with the push-up. You know what to do, then get some water, towel off. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, way to go. Circuit five is complete. Okay, next up, one and a quarter squats. I'm gonna switch to a single dumbbell in a goblet position. My feet are gonna be facing forward. I'm gonna move these dumbbells to the side. You can hold them in suitcase position. I just like to switch my grip so that I don't hurt my hands. I don't put the same amount of stress every single time in the exact same way on my wrists, on my forearms. Okay, so my feet are facing forward. I'm squatting all the way down. I come up a quarter, I go down again, and up. 
I squat down, up a quarter, all the way down, and up. So we're gonna do one set together, and then two sets in a challenge. It will be similar to circuit three. In 10 seconds, we're getting into supine position. We have opposite knee to opposite elbow. Four, three, two, and one. So let's put those dumbbells to the side. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Your legs are spread apart. You're gonna take your left elbow to your right knee, rotate your torso. Right elbow to your left knee, rotate. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, hammer curls. So we're going to take our dumbbells. Again, suitcase hold. Let's take our hips, make sure that they're tucked under, and then our core is really supporting our back so we're not swinging. Hammer curls. <sighs> Keeping those elbows locked in place. All right, guess what? Now we go to a two set challenge. 10 repetitions on the first set, 12 on the second. So we're going to one and a quarter squats. Goblet squat position, all the way down, up a quarter, all the way down and up. That's one, two, three, sit low, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Now we get on the ground. Our legs are going to be spread. We're going to take our left arm to our right knee, ten. Then opposite, nine. Eight, seven, five, four, two, one. Way to go. Hammer curls. Elbows locked in place. Let's go. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's go back to the top, but 12 repetitions of everything. Feet facing forward, all the way down, up a quarter, all the way down, and up. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, we're going for 12, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice job. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. 12 total. That's six. I have two more. And 12. 
12 hammer curls and then get some water. Whew. We'll be done with circuit six. One, two, don't swing. Six, eight, 10, and 12. Getting ready to move on to circuit seven. Get some water. So with circuit seven, I'm gonna start with alternating reverse lunges, and I'm gonna have, again, just a single dumbbell, goblet hold. All of this is timed, no need to count your reps. We're gonna bring it back. Keeping, bringing that knee either to the ground or almost to the ground, shoulders back, chest out, torso upright. Five seconds. And time. There are four exercises in this circuit. This is number two. So we have a straight leg sit up and we're gonna have the dumbbell coming overhead, unless you have steppers there, then maybe not. It comes overhead, you sit up, reach it to your toes. So overhead, woo, head to toes, just like when you were little. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Woo. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this with the dumbbell, you can just put your hands behind your back and just do a full seated position. But again, legs are straight. They're not bent. So you keep scooting back and hitting the stepper. Fun. Okay, next up, reverse flies. We're gonna grab two dumbbells and we're gonna move our steppers away. We're gonna hinge at the hips, bring those dumbbells out from our midsection out into a wing position, thinking about our shoulder blades meeting. Bring it out. Fifteen seconds, and then we have sumo squats with an upright row. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Our feet are turned out nine and three o'clock. We're going to sumo squat down, upright position, come up into an upright row. Squat upright row. And if you can't do both, just pick one or the other, either the upright rows or the sumo squats. 10 seconds. Nice job. Okay. Picking up that single dumbbell again, alternating reverse lunges. So bring that knee behind. Get it all the way to the ground if possible. Torso upright. Oh, I feel this in my glutes. 15 seconds. Then we go with those sit-ups, either dumbbell going overhead to your toes or just cross your hands in front of your chest. Put your hands behind your head and time. Straight leg though, that is what is most important. So I'm actually gonna take the dumbbell now. I'm gonna show you an alternate way. You can hold both heads of the dumbbell and then come all the way up and then reach to your toes. Whew. So it's a skull crusher and then reach. Whew. Feel this in your lower abs as you reach, no matter what, it doesn't matter how far away I move from these stoppers, they're like magnets to me. I keep scooting back. Whew. 
five, four, three, two, and let's get one more in. One, reverse flies. So we pick up both dumbbells, work in the upper back, hinging at the hip, bring them out. Over halfway. And time. Sumo squats, upright row. Here we go. Halfway. So close. And time. Last set in circuit seven. Alternating reverse lunges. Here we go. Bring that knee back. Ten seconds. And time. Okay. I have a solution to my problem. I'm going to face the other direction for these sit-ups. Okay. Sit-ups. Skull crusher. And reach. And friends, this is why I didn't go into neurosurgery. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. We are here for 10 more seconds. And then we have reverse flies. And, oh. okay. Reverse flies. Here we go. Five seconds. And time. Okay. Sumo squats with an upright row. Here we go. After this, we get some water, and then we'll move on to our final circuit of the day. And Time. Get some water towel off. We're moving to our final circuit. Oh, it's going to be fun. So we're going to count how many surrender squats we complete in 30 seconds. You can do this either with a dumbbell or without. You're going to go knee, knee, stand up, stand up. So again, with a dumbbell or without. You have 30 seconds to count. And go. Every time you go knee, knee, stand up, stand up, that's one. Two. Woo. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, and my number is nine. Now, if you stayed on one leg, when you do this again, lead with the other leg. Next up, so my number is nine. 
Next up, we are going to V ups. So we're gonna bring our knees into our chest. You're gonna have your hands overhead and then come up. You, or you can slide your feet in. 30 seconds starting now. One. This is five for me. Nine. 11. 13. 15. And 16. So I had nine surrenders and 16 V ups. Last exercise, tricep kickbacks. So we're gonna hinge at the hips. Whew. And we're gonna kick back those dumbbells. 30 seconds starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, halfway, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, I had 9, 16, and 21. Wow. Okay, all we're doing is adding two to each one. Two to each one. <sighs> so I have 11 surrenders, 11 surrenders. You can do them on just one leg. You can switch halfway through. I have 11 surrenders. Let's go, because you're adding two. That's one. I'm going to switch legs every time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, I have two more, 10, whew, and 11. I had 16 V-ups before, I now have 18. And again, if you don't remember your number, your number is 18. One, two, four, Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, I had 21 tricep kickbacks. So now my number is 23. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have 23, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, we're adding two more. This is our finale, and then class is over. So I originally had nine surrenders, and then I did 11. I'm now doing 13. Whew. Okay, let's go. One, two, Three, you can stand one leg half the time, which is what I'm doing, or you can switch every other time. I'm going to 13. What's your number? You can also hold a dumbbell, not hold a dumbbell, hold two dumbbells.
and 13. My original V up number was 16. I added two that was 18. I'm now adding two more. That's 20. And if it's bothering you to bring both knees up, bring one up at a time. If you're feeling a strain in your back, or do one up, one up, and then two. Six. Eight. I'm going for 29. 10. 12. 14. 16, 18, and 20. Whew. Okay, I originally had 21 tricep kickbacks, then 23, 25, and then class is over. I have 20 remaining. 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's a wrap. Where do you think you're going? Stay tuned for our next video. And remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications. Finally, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.